Hi, this is Peter. So um, it's really fun that I use so many different tools to do the video recording, right? So this is the third part of the introductions, and I am going to introduce how we can use the backboard and other, also other uh, different LMS learning management system to um, make good use of your resources. So I have, um, yeah, I have mentioned that um, we will change most of our class into virtual or online, okay, at least 50%. So similar to the other course, we have to follow this um, line and then change most of our class to um, virtual or online. So um, how to use the LMS? Learning management system will be one of the key points that you, you need to bear in your mind because uh, for the for the women class, most likely we will try to make good use of our of our um, um, Q and A time, and then our face to face time to lecture to ask more, explain the question as you can, and then uh, to provide lots of the information, uh, more information, more interactive information that is that that person you use. Okay, so this one is backboard. So um, I guess you know how to log into a backboard. And then under my course, I will only put the content into two folder. The first one is the subject content. It's here. Okay, it's here. And then I will put um, the teacher materials one by one. Another one will be assessment. So your your all of your assessment will be right there. Okay. So I will introduce the assessment to you later. Uh, and then also announcement, right? So today you receive my announcement for email. And then yeah, so content. Announcement, assessment will be the only three folder that we will use. Okay, so inside the content folder, you will have the um schedule. So unfortunately, we can meet, we cannot meet each other right now. Let's wait. So we will go to two, um, um, uh, we will go to U, go to first, and then we will come back to P, field seven for our, for our teacher and learning. Okay, and we will have the course introduction here. Okay, so we click in the course introduction. So every uh, week I will submit the slide. So um, slide, slide, slide. Check it. So you can see the slide here. Okay, so easy to understand. We have the slide. And remember that next week we will go to U202 first. Okay, U202 first, okay. So we'll meet here. I will send another announcement to you next lesson. So remember about that. Then we will also have the video recording. So if you click on the video recording, so definitely you can find my first video. So I use the YouTube channel for the first video just under the title number eight, and then I capture the video right there. So um, that is the video. Then another part of the videos I will use the the yeah here cannot talk okay so if you click on to the cannot talk you can see this one this kind of interest right so this one is the pre-work content so I'm still editing the pre-work content of last year so I think most of the content is good so I will keep on editing and then cannot talk is another good platform so you can click on the slide click on the slide and then you can directly to the um, style that you want. You can do the preview and then you can have low with all sorts of things, maximum the the screen size and then you captions. Okay, the most important thing is the captions. So I'm still preparing the captions. So I uh, keep on editing, keep on and improving the caption. Most of the caption right now is created by the AI and then you can swap. Yeah, you can swap. Yes, where well, I can swap. Yeah. So you can swap uh, whether you can uh, you want to have a look with my my facial expressions or you want to have a look with the slide. So it's pretty good. Okay. So panel talk. Next lesson, I will ask more about whether you want to use the panel talk or you want to use the this uh, YouTube videos because um after the mixed reality and after the introduction, so we I do not have extra extra pre recording video. So I will, I, I have to do the recording again. So I have to prepare and then let me know whether you want to use the panel tool or to use the um, um, PowerPoint uh, recording. So both of them I will uh, do the recording. So don't worry. Then 
about the assessment. So I have uh, upload the main assessment, or I will, I will say that I have upload all the assessment types. So in our course, we will have three different kinds of assessment. The first one will be the tutorial or lab exercise, just like this one. Second one will be the individual assignment here. The third one will be the group assessment here. Okay, so you have three different kind of assessment. So we'll go through them one by one. The first one should be the yeah individual assignment is about the tutorial or lab exercise about the about the uh, um, different technologies. So the first one we'll discuss about the Excel and then also discuss the uh, web B for zero technology. So after you have watched all the video, after you have studied all the materials, then you can start to prepare your tutorial exercise. Okay, the deadline is 26th of September. So don't worry. We have also the in-class exercise. In-class exercise is zero percent. Okay, only the um, individual assignment will be count for the percentage. And each of them, the, the tutorial, each of them is 5%. Okay, so usually we have some structural questions. So um, we have the background now. We are working for the um, Hong Kong Children's Hospital. And then there are lots of the children. They are, they, uh, the situation is not good. And then uh, they're very poor. They cannot go outside easily. Okay. So um, how can we help them by using the web fee, by using the app, by using a different kind of um, technologies? So this will be another meaningful, valuable things for them. So you have the situation. And then you also have the problem. You also have the social challenge. And then now you are going to design an app that can help them to perform the return to school program. For example, they have the they have the uh, one or two years, most likely here will be a few months to one year, time to stay in the children's hospital. And then when they go back to the school, there are lots of difficulty they have to face. For example, they do not know how to interact with the other. They do not know how to, how to um, um, communicate with the other. So can you help? And use an app to help to monitor or using a VR to simulate some situation that they can um, um, learn before before that answers. Okay. For example, you use the VR and then design a return to school program, return to school program. So definitely this one is using the technologies to help. They are uh, to accept we have patient service, OT service to help them to back to the normal life. And that is how the technologies can help the life track. And this one will be your project. So we will have different kind of exercise here and then practice. So this one is one of the example. For example, back to school program. For example, using app, using VR to simulate the situation, or using apps to do the monitoring, uh, self monitoring about their uh, situation they they are facing. Okay. So um yeah, uh, back to school. You have the pre transition. You have the transition. And then you have the post transition stage that you have to do it. an app and VR and AR how this kind of things. So you can make a imagination and think how we can do it. Okay. <clears throat> so the question is here. So using the VR terrorists, can we enhance the transition stage? Okay. So is there any pre recording video VR that can help them to improve the social interaction or social techniques? So that is one of the things you can do. So structural question is like that, using VR technologies, then you need to draw a use case diagram. So after this class, I guess you know how to draw the use case diagram. Okay, so don't worry, we will teach inside this class and then we'll have the in-class exercise after, after, um, yeah, after this class, okay? Then draw how, think, a pay to earn model. Okay, after this lesson, you can also think about how we can use the pay to earn model to facilitate token, right? So just like a sticker, so if they do something good, so we give them a sticker and then they put the sticker into the app so it can pay to earn model, pay to earn model, facilitate the transition stage, okay? So how can they earn their token? So how can they redeem the token, et cetera, et cetera, so you can combine with a discount planning. So the first part is using the VR analogies to enhance the battle school program. Second part is using the app technologies to enhance the battle school program. So both of them can be a, an idea of your uh, project, okay, of your project or proposal. 
So try to make a good use of your of your um 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 your knowledge size and then to facilitate your learning cycle to your project. Okay. And then because you are a university student, you can use creativity. I think you have the uh, ability to do so. So all the assignment, if you are taught by me, so most likely I will provide some ChatGPT answer. So I guess you can do better than a ChatGPT. Okay. So have a look with the ChatGPT, suggest the button answer, and then continue to improve and then do it better and better and better. Okay. So yeah, the second one will be the individual assignment. So this one again is individual. So individual assignment is a pitching proposal, pitching proposal. So each of you have to prepare a uh, document. So this document is not really hard. It's only five page, okay, five page. Again, you have to design how, design a technology, uh, choose a technology, decide how a technology can improve the um, 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 surface of PD or OT. So just like the previous lab exercise, right? How the app, VR, AR can improve the back to school, okay? Back to school program to help the children in the um, children hospital and then back to the school program, back to the normal life, okay? So design a proposal that can make use of technologies together to provide a rehab service wherever it's PD or OT, okay? What a proposal, five page, five page, five page, page okay? So um, the, uh, here is the structure of the proposal. The most important thing, as I have mentioned, later on you will have a look in our slide. The most important thing is the project idea. idea. So how to highlight the project, brief, how to highlight the, um, the most important thing will be, will be your key point, will be your key part. So 400 words about the rehabilitation, uh, surface together with the catalog is 400 words. So mostly it's one page, one page to summarize all your things, okay? Then will be the um the uh, background information. The background information, you need to highlight the social needs of your target audience, select one of them. You can select the case in Hong Kong. You can also select the case in China or somewhere in the all over the world. So select a case. And then propose the rehab surface propose the technologies that you are going to use, okay? Propose the creative service, okay? So try to make a good use of these kind of things. A little bit highlight the ethical and then social issue. Again, um, is there anything that we have missed, um, um, need to consider um, during the um, launch of your service? So try to highlight something. And then it will be the grading criteria. So 30% uh, is about your background study. 30% will be your Propose the service, and then twenty percent will be the social responsibility. Of course, twenty percent will be your writing skill. And I guess you can use ChatGPT to refine your writing. Okay, always put into ChatGPT refine all sorts of writing before your submission. Okay, otherwise, somehow maybe you have a good idea, but I cannot understand. So yeah, there is lot good. Go to the ChatGPT refine and refine your answer. Okay, so. Give me before the end of the October, and then I will try my best to give the suggestions to you within one or two weeks, etc., etc. I will give you the comment. I will give you the suggestions. Okay. So um yeah, that is what is what is the things you have to do about the individual assignment. After you have received the comment, so um try to form a group, and then complete the group assignment. Okay, group project. Group assignment, try to form a group with uh, B to 4 student. Discuss the comment that we have with it, okay? You can select the best comment that you have or combine different projects, different ideas into one, okay? Different projects or different ideas into one. Discuss, discuss with your classmate to perform peer-to-peer -peer learning, okay? To perform peer-to-peer -peer learning. The whole idea is almost similar, okay? But this time I need not you to prepare a a um, um document. So what I want is a presentation, live teaching, live pitching. The live pitching, so you have to prepare 30 to 40 slides. Okay, 30 to 40 slides. If you have a demo video for the um, proof of concept, then that's great. Okay. So I will also try to provide you some um stock video format that you can enhance your video production. 
or you just use a PowerPoint, that's enough, okay, to present the whole idea. 20 minutes for the presentation and 10 minutes for us to do the Q&A, okay? That night, to be confirmed, most likely will be the mid of December, but we can discuss, okay? Again, the most important thing will be the project brief, okay? So how you give an overview of your uh, service, creativity, um, um, technologies planning, and together with the uh, potential benefit, okay? So uh, similar to your um, proposal, so we also have the background, we also have the proposed idea, but in your presentation, I need to ask you to highlight how to implement, okay? Is uh, possible to implement or is too difficult to be implemented? So this one, concern about how we can implement, tell me what we should do in the next three to six months, okay? So what we should do in two, five to five, uh, three to five years, okay? try to use and then give a plan about what we can do, okay? All the project funded by um, uh, Jockey Club or funded by the other funding body, is, it goes to the similar situation. They, want to, they don't want to um, fund your project continuously, okay? So you have to tell us what is the revenue model, how your project can be sustainable. That means I, as a funding body, I need not to give you money three years or five years again and again. Otherwise, when I start this project, it will be a endless game, right? So um, the first three years, I give you the money. And then second three years, I give you the money. Second 30 years, I still give you the money. So it will be a giant, right? So how you can um, 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 set up your business, earn the money, or at least you can sustain by your, yourself. This is really important. So um yeah, that is the situation that you have to bear into your mind and then know how to um create your project. So that's it. And then um yeah, this is our call setting and assignment settings.